Hey, what's happening guys? Merry Christmas. This is uh, Christmas Day evening and just got home from my in-laws house. Had a great time, stayed safe, enjoyed some much needed, you know, quality time with family. Uh, but this thing right here, I'm really excited about. I needed to get a MIDI controller with pads on it that I can use with Koala Sampler. And this was one of the ones that uh, that I felt, you know, made the most sense for me in terms of price and features and all that kind of stuff. Um, I felt as though with using Koala Sampler on my iPad, like when I'm getting into the music a lot, uh, I could find myself pressing the screen pretty hard and tapping it and jamming. And I kind of didn't want to do that necessarily on my iPad all the time. Um, sometimes you, I wanted something tactile, something that I can actually feel. And when I'm doing performance track, I kind of wanted to be able to do to change some of these settings here on performance track while uh, just turning a knob. And that's what I want to experiment with today. Let's do just that. Let's put the iPad aside. I'm excited to see what this feels like and kind of how this could work into my workflow. So this is the Akai MPD 218 uh, MIDI pad controller with 16 MPC pads. A lot of acronyms. Let's get this bad boy opened up and let's see what we got. So we have our package of accessories, which we will take a look at in just a moment. And we have the device itself. Box goes on the floor. This, I like the size of it already. I'm already pretty excited that it's, it's small. <laughs> it's a good, I mean, in a good way, kind of, yeah, this is, this is going to be, I think this is going to be really, really, really nice. And I don't think there's much that I really need to sort of look at or really understand. You know, I'm not right now going to be not really concerned with the uh, software. I think this does have a, a nice software bundle that it comes with, like Ableton, Live Light, and some other things. But as usual, like I have my software already. Um, here's a user guide. We'll take a look at this momentarily. I think just seeing how to change the, change, you know, man, I'm excited. Uh, don't even know what I'm saying. Let's put the manual stuff away and let's get this connected like immediately. So the way that I see myself using this, uh, another reason why this device right here uh, was so important to get. This only has one USB port, not two, but that's okay. I'm going to figure some things out about this. Uh, yeah. All right, so I want to connect this to my iPad, and I was just thinking because maybe I might want to be using keys and this at the same time, but I will figure all that out. For now, let's get this connected, and let's see how this works. So this can stay here. I would use this cable to connect directly via USB, and it's supposed to power on should power on instantly and probably tomorrow i will or maybe even tonight i'll take a look at the software there might, there might be a new software that needs to be installed on here but just looking at the device itself you have 16 pads that feel great genuine mpc pads they say that's essentially what i needed for ios mode hold note repeat until connected to ios and powered on hold note repeat until connected to ios and powered on so it says hold that. Um, I'm going to not do that first. I'm just going to plug it in first and just kind of see what this is all about. So here's the device. I'm going to think to go right into Koala first. Curious to know why this is being triggered. All right, let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Testing. Testing. So right off the bat, I love the pad. I love the way it feels. I'm curious to know why 
13 is being triggered sometimes when I hit one. Let me save that. And let me go into a new file. Testing one, testing two, testing three, testing four, testing five, testing six, testing seven, testing eight, testing nine, testing 10, testing 11, testing 12, testing 13, testing 14, testing 15, testing 16. Testing one, testing two, testing three, testing four, testing five, testing six, testing five, testing five, testing five, testing six, testing seven, testing eight, testing nine. So it said for iOS mode, hold note repeat until connected. So let me try that again. Hold note. Let me try doing what it says. Hold note repeat until connected. So it says hold this until connected. There we go. Press and hold. Connected. Done. Testing one. Testing five. Testing nine. Testing. 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 Ah, so they were right. So first thing, if you're using this for your with your iPad or an iOS device, make sure you do what it says. Right, do what it says. Very important. So now the next thing, so this feels good. So let me go into load. Let's load up a this one. Uh there we go. No, so it's still doing that for some reason, actually. It's triggering pad 13. Which is a problem. So when I hit some of these pads, some of these pads are triggering pad 13. Not this pad. This one definitely is, as you can see. That one definitely is not. This one is. This one is. This one is. 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 So I'll have to look at that to see why is it triggering certain pads. Yeah, so I'll have to see why it's doing that. Not That's not a good thing that it's triggering there. But while we're still testing out, um, let me take a look at the performance mode. And let's go into MIDI map. So settings, MIDI, enable MIDI velocity, MIDI note control, MIDI note offset. Okay. So I'm going to try this with another app, another app just to test. Test, but MIDI note channel all. All right, MIDI note offset, last note. So I'm curious, if I go here, so we're gonna have to see how to map these on Koala. Uh, settings. So I may enable MIDI velocity. Enable MIDI mapping. Map MIDI. Okay. Tap. That one. Tap. That one. Tap. That one. Tap. This one. Tap. This one. Tap. This one. Then we can go, I think, to control bank. Tap. This one. Tap. This one. All right, so now we should be stop mapping. So now if I hit this, so if I hit this and let it go, I should be able to change performance stuff on here without doing much on here, without having to go to the performance screen.
So that sounds good. That works good. I love that. I'm going to go into uh, do two things. I want to go into another beat making program, Beatmaker 3. And I'm curious to see if this also triggers multiple things. If I go into Ashes Kit and do Load Bank. So this always is triggering this top one up here. All right, so let me pause the video. I'm gonna check and see if this is a known issue. <clears throat> All right, I'm back, guys. So I did a little poking around online, and uh, there's a full article. I'll, I'll put it in the comments below uh, from Akai, just about some tips on how to use this machine. So I started using it by just tapping real hard. Um, it said with this particular one, like that's not needed uh, because it's very sensitive. I think they were just kind of saying some things to say like I, I feel like you should be able to hit as hard as you want with these and you should be fine it shouldn't re-trigger but it seems like they know or acknowledge that if you do hit hard um that it will you know can result in re-triggering right kind of like it was doing like if i hit this regular so you got to get used to the sensitivity So that's basically it. I'm digging it so far. I'm excited to use it some more. Thanks so much for watching my first impressions of this pad controller. Uh, I think it'll just be fun to use some hardware with, uh, with something that I've been using uh, software based this whole time. So thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like under the video and consider subscribing if you're interested in more content like this. Uh, have a great rest of the day and I will catch you guys next time.